Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make your own custom shoe sole and its reverse shoe print that spells out your design. I provided a PSD file that includes this photo and a channel for the shape where your design will go. Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using College Condensed. You can download it for free at fontzone.net. For this font, I'll choose a size of 132 points. Keep in mind, depending on the font you choose and the amount of characters and lines, choose a point size that works best for you. Choose Smooth, Flush Right, and the color is black. Type out your text. Click on your Move tool to move it to approximately the center of your document. Go to your New Layer icon. Control click on a PC or Command click on a Mac. This places a new layer below the active layer. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a large rectangle over your text. We'll fill it with black and since black is our foreground color press Alt or Option plus Delete. We want to see the text under it so we'll reduce its opacity. I'll make it 45 percent. We want to delete sections of the black shape that frame the text. In this example I'll be showing you how to do it with two lines. However, use the same general technique no matter how many lines you have in your design. Go to the top left corner and press and hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac as you drag out a rectangle flush to the bottom left of your top line. Go to the top right corner and repeat this as you drag out another rectangle to the bottom edge leaving a little room to the right of both lines of text. Lastly, go to the bottom left corner and as before, press and hold Alt or Option and drag out another rectangle, leaving a little room on the bottom edge of your second line. Press Delete to remove the black inside the selection. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. Increase its opacity to 100%. Let's place the text and the black shapes into its own folder. Go to your text layer and shift click on it. This highlights both layers. Press Ctrl or Command G. Let's name the folder Soul Design. Open your Channels panel and Ctrl click on Inner Soul. This makes a selection of its shape. Notice there are two other channels that I left in when I created this Photoshop file. However, we won't be needing them in this tutorial. Open your Layers panel and click on the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the inner sole selection next to the folder. Open the folder, right click on your text layer and choose Rasterize Type. Shift click on the black shapes to highlight both layers. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Click inside to move it up onto the sole. Go to a corner and when you see a double curved arrow, rotate it counterclockwise. Go back to the corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it in to reduce its size. Continue to position and size it. To stretch it horizontally, go to the middle of one of the sides and drag it outward. To pull out a corner, Press and hold Control or Command as you click and drag the corner to a new position. I'll repeat that to the top left corner as well. Continue to manipulate the size and angles of your design until it's positioned on the sole the way you like it. Click on the shape layer to make it active and then Control click on it to make a selection of the shape. Go to the inner sole layer mask and press Control shift alt on a PC or Command Shift Option on a Mac to intersect the inner sole selection. Now we can trash the shapes since we don't need it anymore. Go to the new layer icon and Control click or Command click on it to make a new layer below the active layer. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 15 pixels, the color black, the location inside, the blending normal, and the opacity 100%. Then delete the selection. Let's name this layer Borders. Make the folder active and reduce the fill to 
Notice the text and the borders are no longer visible. This is exactly what we want. Double click on the folder to open its layer styles. Click on Inner Shadow and make the Blend Mode Linear Dodge. Click on the color box and pick White. Make the opacity 15% and the angle 122 degrees. Make the distance 4 pixels and the size 0. Click on Outer Glow and click on the color box. Pick Black. Make the Blend Mode Multiply and the opacity 30%. Make the spread 5% and the size 10 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. Keep the Blend Mode as Multiply and make the opacity 50%. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 50 degrees. Make the distance 7 pixels and the size 0. Control click or command click on the borders layer to make the shapes into a selection. Shift click on your text to add the shape to the selection. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer and drag it to the top. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the foreground color which is black. Then delete the selection. Open your Transform tool and drag it down. Go to Edit, Transform and Flip Horizontal. Rotate it so the shoe print is horizontal. We'll increase its size slightly since it's closer to us on the image. Let's correct its perspective to match the floors. Open your Transform tool. Control click or Command click on the lower left corner and drag it to the left until the left side of the transform is in line with the tiles on the floor. Repeat this with the lower right corner. Then press Enter or Return. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay. We need to remove the part of the shoe print that's over the groove between the tiles. Click on the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the shoe print. Open your Brush Tool and click on the arrow next to the brush tip size. Make the size 15 pixels, the hardness 0% and the opacity 100%. Click on the top of the center groove and press and hold Shift as you click on the bottom of your document. This masks a straight vertical line of the shoe print. Let's scruff up the shoe print to blend it into the floor tiles. Click on the arrow next to the brush size and click on the gear icon. This opens your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a set called Heavy Scratches by X Alias X. If you want to use this brush set, I provided the link for you to download in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install them, check out my tutorial on installing brushes. When you see this window, click OK so we'll just see these brushes in the thumbnails. I'll choose this one and increase its point size to 1800 pixels. Place your brush over the shoe print and click down once to apply it. Notice it immediately distressed the shoe print. We want the words on the shoe print to be readable, so the last step is to reverse our entire image. Press Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a snapshot of the entire image. Go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Have fun making your own design on a sneaker sole and the shoe print it makes. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.